Hello, and thanks for watching this short demonstration on how to configure the NSX Advanced Load Balancer, also known as Avi, to integrate with the vCenter environment. Avi uses a concept known as clouds, and um, these clouds are essentially connectors to various environments, such as vCenter, which we'll demonstrate today. Um, there's also NSXT, there's um, OpenStack, AWS, Azure, GCP, etc. And you can also do no, no orchestrator mode, which, which essentially limits the automation level. Um, that's really what these connectors are for. These cloud connectors allow you to connect into the public or private cloud environments and do some discovery, as well as automate the deployment of your load balancers. So for our use case today, we're going to create a vCenter cloud, and we will then create an application and watch the load balancer spin up automatically. And then after the load balancer spins up, the application will become live. So let's go ahead and create this vCenter cloud. Um, we're going to click on the VMware vCenter vSphere ESX. And then we'll just go ahead and name this vCenter. And for our prefix, we'll go ahead and put in Avi. And what this basically means is any objects that are created in uh, vCenter, we'll go ahead and prepend it with Avi on there. Okay. Skip some of these settings here that we don't need for our, uh, for our use case. And then now it's asking us for the credentials and information for our vCenter. And you can see it's uh, it's connected at this point. It's loaded the data center. It tells me which data centers I have available. If you have multiple, you can choose, you can select the correct data center, and then um, content library. In in advance, you would have created a uh, a content library for Avi. Um, if you haven't done that yet, no problem. Go ahead and uh, navigate over to your content libraries and create a custom one for Avi. Okay, so back to the cloud configuration here. At this point, we've set the data center and the content library. Let's go ahead and save and relaunch. All right, and now we can come in and select the management network. For our management network, we're just using the standard VM network here. IP subnet, we'll go ahead and do 192.168.3.0 slash 24. Default gateway. 3.1. And then we have a static address uh, pool here as well. And on your static IP address pool, um, we're going to be using these five addresses here so that we can have, uh, have some NICs to communicate back to the controller from the service engines. IPAM DNS, we'll go ahead and leave this um, un unfilled out for now. We can come back and add in a DNS profile or an IPAM profile afterwards. And then resolvers, we can leave this blank as well. Okay, so you see our cloud is uh, it's green, it's configured at this point. Let's go ahead and add in that IPAM profile and then we'll come back and um, create an application. So come back over to IP IPAM, we'll create an IPAM profile here. Just call it IPAM. And we're going to select that same vCenter cloud that we've just used. And we'll go ahead and select the uh, VM network that we pre-configured. Save, come back over, apply that IPAM profile to vCenter. Come on down here, IPAM profile, apply it here. Okay, so now we have our cloud configured. We don't have any um, service engines yet because there's, uh, there's no need to spin them up because we have no applications. Let's create our first application and then we can watch it spin up in vCenter. So come in, select the cloud here. We'll call this uh, VS1. Create a new VS VIP here. And since we have IPAM configured here, we can essentially just apply the, the subnet used for the IPAM profile. Okay, that creates our VS VIP. Save here. Um, and then all we have left to do is add our pool. So what I'm going to be doing is load balancing directly to this uh, server. All right, so now let's go ahead and set up the service port here. We'll just go ahead and do a 443 uh, pass through here. So we'll do a secure L4 application. Sorry. So we'll do a system L4 application. And we'll change this to 443. And for our pool, we'll come in and configure, uh, change this to 443 for our default server port. And then for our server, we'll add in 92.168.3.15. Okay. Go ahead and add that in there. And then the last thing we can do is just add a simple health monitor. We'll add, uh, we'll add the system TCP health monitor. We can save this pool. And um, at this point, we can go ahead and save the application. So just go, go all the way through and click on save. And you can see the application here. It's marked red because we're waiting for the service engine. So if I come over to the Avi, um, excuse, if I come over to the vCenter, you can see that the Avi SC folder has been created. We have two load balancers that are currently spinning up. And after a few minutes, you can see that the application status is uh, green and healthy. And if we navigate over to the uh, service engines, you can see that we have two service engines that are up and running and are handling the traffic. Thank you for watching this short demo on how to configure the vCenter cloud with Avi.